Lauren, just in the last hour, we have learned Acting Homeland Security Secretary Chad Wolf has become the latest cabinet member to resign. That, while Democrats move forward on impeachment today and are looking at blocking President Trump from ever holding public office again. And Republicans blocked a different move to formally call in Vice President Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment. And all of this, while we're also just learning that the FBI is warning of plans for armed protests at all 50 state capitals and in Washington, D.C. still this month. The scenes of devastation now haunting capitals across the country. Today in Madison, Wisconsin, workers bolstering their Capitol building. This ahead of a new report from the Associated Press based on an internal FBI bulletin that nationwide protests may start later this week. Inside the U.S. Capitol, the political protest continues. We cannot simply let this go because we can never heal as a nation if we don't have justice first. House Democrats formally introduced one article of impeachment, incitement of insurrection, and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she has the votes to get it through. That option growing more likely as NBC News and others have learned. Vice President Pence is unlikely to act on replacing the president under the 25th Amendment. Still, a few more Republicans have joined the calls for impeachment. I actually do believe that the president has disqualified himself. But the Senate remains in recess until January 19th, meaning a trial could happen after President Trump leaves office. As for the president, he remains silenced on his preferred platform, social media. Somebody said, I'm the Ernest Hemingway of 140 characters. Now, even Parler, a social media site that served both conservatives and far-right extremists, has been booted offline by Amazon, Apple, and Google. The company's saying the site didn't do enough to monitor content that encourages and incites violence. First Amendment experts say it's within the company's rights to protest parlor. They say the president can still easily share his perspective. The president can go out and hold a press conference today and it will be covered. Now, this also just in Facebook saying tonight it will remove all content mentioning, quote, stop the steal to crack down on misinformation and related violence. Meantime, President-elect Biden today stated he wants to make sure Congress also remains focused on his agenda for the country, saying, quote, my priority first and foremost is the stimulus bill and secondly to begin to rebuild the economy. Lauren? A lot going on today. Yeah. Carla, thank you.